Today we're gonna to do something slightly different. I wanna go through how to book a venue for an event, but not just teach you how to do it, I want to do it live on video. So we're gonna coordinate an event in New York City coming up for Experiment 27, and we'll go through all the steps. Here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up an Eventbrite page for the event. I've got this one from an event we were gonna do in St. Louis at the T-Rex co-working space, four strategies for agency growth that brought in $4 million a year. I also did this one recently at a uh, digital agency summit. So I'll take these bullet points and we will create an event right. ready let's make it live let's create an email script for this as well subject question about event would love to discuss the possibility of using space name would you be open to talking further thanks Alex simple cold email to get their attention the other place to find venues are searching for co-working spaces so if I search co-working spaces NYC we should have a decent amount of spaces come up Twenty should be a good start. Okay, we have the list of venues, we've got the websites. Let's see if this is enough info to pull some email addresses from Email Hunter. Okay, list is done. Let's export as a CSV and get it into Yesware to send these emails. So this will go out and then I'll report back with what's going on. So we got two responses so far. It's been a couple hours, one from Bond. Hi Alex, thanks for taking an interest in Bond Flatiron. Your event looks great. I'd love to learn more about it. How many people do you anticipate coming? And then the other one, hi Alex. Yes, why not? What's your budget? I'm gonna try to get the space for free. And this is kind of how I'll frame it here. So, hey Christoph, would it be possible to have you donate space in exchange for a sponsorship? Should be able to bring 100 plus new people in to see Spark. Does that sound interesting? Thanks, Alex. Spark's been pretty nice so far. He agreed to $300 just to cover his base costs for an event space that can hold about 100 people in New York City. So I've got a few meetings lined up now with these event spaces, one with Spark, one with WeWork, a few others in New York City. I'll show this call with Spark, and then we'll end part one of organizing the event. Hello, this is Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, it's Alex. Hey, Alex. All right, so actually, just tell me a little bit, um, tell me a little bit about what you want to know, because I actually, to be honest with you, I don't have a lot of information on um, your events, to be honest. Sure. Yeah. So the event, uh, it's called Four Strategies for Agency Growth that brought in $4 million in a year. Um, basically, I run this company um, called Experiment 27. Uh, we're about 14 people. We're a marketing company for agencies. Um, and we just did this uh, event as like a virtual event recently. Um, um, and it's been getting mm -hmm. some pretty good feedback. Okay. So yeah, I was wanting to to do a live version uh, in Spark Labs. Um, I mean, it looks like a pretty okay. good spot. Yeah. So I wanted to get some more info, see if there was interest on your side. Basically, let me tell uh, let me tell you a little bit about the event space we have here. So we don't usually host any um, events during the daytime. So it's usually after six p.m. So because during the day we're a co-working space, we have to respect um, 
all the members. So, uh, so from six to usually six to nine p.m. Is that a a time that works for you guys? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Gotcha. Makes <laughs> sense. Um, how many how many people um, do you expect to come to the events or one event? So we did one at WeWork about a year ago, and it got about a hundred people. So I think it depends on okay. how big the space is. Like, what what's your capacity usually? Uh, seating will be around uh, 70, 75. Yeah, and standing so that's no, uh, no more than 100 people. Yeah, standing no more than 100 people. Is it more of a, a talking event or is it more of a networking event? It's a presentation. So basically 45 minutes of a presentation, 15-minute Q&A, and then maybe an hour on each side of free networking. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. Uh, what else? What else do you want to know about the event Have you seen the, any of the pictures before? I've seen the pictures. Um, I haven't been out to the space though. Do you have um, Do you have a projector and a microphone and things like that? Yes, we do. Awesome. Yeah, we do. Fantastic. We have speakers, a projector, uh, two microphones. Yeah, the standard stuff basically. Cool. I think that's it. Like that's everything on my side. If it sounds good to you, it sounds good to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So basically, uh, the event space is um, three hundred and fifty dollars per hour, three hours minimum. And also, we do require fifty percent of the deposit, like fifty percent of the whole of payment, to be deposited to be able to request. I mean, reserve the date for you. Okay. And also, the also the rest of fifty percent will be required. Uh, 24 business hours prior to the event and uh, that's basically uh, there's no like security deposit or anything like that so basically the 50% you're paying in the first place goes directly into the rest of you know the whole payment uh, there's no security deposit that you go that you get back like 10 days or something there's nothing like that Christoph was saying that you guys could sponsor um, and then it would only cost us $300 if, is, if we put the logo on there and that kind of sort of stuff it'd be like a sponsorship um, you said you have costs, incompressible costs for staff. So like 300 was the, the amount mm, that would cover okay. all of that. That makes, yeah. All right. So that's a whole different story. So basically, yeah, you can use whatever, all that stuff that I just told you and $300 will be covering two staff members. So one will be sitting at the checking desk to open the door like all, all time because the door locks itself. Um, basically when you close it, it locks. So there's, there's has to be someone sitting in the desk. Okay. all the time during the event. So that's one person and also an event manager um, basically just handing, handing out, just, just checking, just be around, be flexible, just in case something happens, just in case you guys have questions, the projector doesn't work. I mean, not like doesn't work, like there's some small issues that needs to be fixed at all times, troubleshooting and all kinds of stuff. So that's the two uh, event staff members. So yeah, that, there's no $350 spent. Great. So, yeah, I think all that all, right, all that then. sounds good. Yeah, sure. Do you want me to reserve the date for you already? June fifteenth. Yeah, let's aim for June fifteenth. Sounds perfect. All right. Can you uh, just email me a little bit about the event so that I can just make a note on the calendar so everybody can know what it is? So if I reserve a date, they would ask me what is it for. So I just need a little bit of information about the event. Sure, I can send you the event right too. Yeah, sure. All right, then just let me know if you have any questions at any time. Just shoot me an email, so I'll call me. Sounds great. All right, thanks, Rebecca. All right. Yeah, no problem. Bye. That's it for part one. Stay tuned for the second part where we'll drive 100 paying customers to this event. If you like this video, feel free to like it on YouTube, subscribe for more B2B sales training, and if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out Experiment 27. Dot com. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks.